First question is from Damoose134. What's your take on a Bruce Lee style chain and bar contraption for isometrics? I have Ooh. never seen this actually. You haven't seen that? No, I have never. I know now. I know he did. He trained a lot with isometrics. This mm -hmm. was something that he believed very heavily in. Uh, he found it made his his punches and kicks harder. And he was rumored to be able to take a 100 pound dumbbell and isometrically support it at arm's length. Mm -hmm. This was like a rumor. I don't know if he ever actually That's did crazy, this. That's crazy, by the way. Yeah, which is really crazy. Are you familiar with this piece of equipment? Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, and I've seen a couple companies. I know Dragon Door was one of them. They do a lot of unconventional stuff. Like they were the first ones I kind of, I went through some of their certifications for kettlebell and all that. And I saw them had the chain isometric tool. So basically, you have a board and uh, you have the chain, two chains that, that connect to then uh, a stick that, that oh. basically um, you can set the chain length. So you, you set the chain length to wherever you want to go to then have that isometric hold. So you could stand on it and pull it. So yeah, it I could do like emulate a deadlift. I can emulate a row. I can emulate sort of like a, you know, a press position Curl, or over it, whatever. But yeah. it's like, you know, it's it's definitely just within that station, but you put all of your force and your might into that uh, exercise hold for like five to ten seconds and then rest. Why have I never heard of this? I know. I've never seen You know what? Though? That would work of really Of course, well. Justin yeah. thinks this is brilliant. I mean, this is literally like the axon stick like concept, right? Right. Here. So that's brilliant. Yeah, and that's that's something that actually I, I stumbled across that as I was researching a lot of isometric uh, methods out there. Because, is that when you first saw this? Mm -hmm. I did not know. I'm surprised you don't know because you were like a total Bruce Lee fan. I, I knew that he trained a lot with isometrics. I, I know, but I've never seen that tool. Neither have I. And he also did a lot of bodybuilder poses that he would like exaggerate and make them into isometric um, exercises in between doing sets like on bench or squat. Wow, Justin, it even measures like the like just like this the, is they, they modernized it apparently uh -huh. and added like a digital scale or whatever. Oh uh, well, they're. They're gonna find a nice patent that blocks that. So yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, bro, well, you better well, get on that. Oh, well, we'll come after him. That's fine. Wow, yeah, I very got, interesting. I got international patents. You so. know, I, I, it's so strange. It's such an interesting story when you look at the the rise and fall of popularity of isometrics. You mm -hmm. know, in, in the early days of resistance training, even Olympic lifting, uh, isometrics were a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, this, in, in it was something that bodybuilders did and strength athletes did. And feats of strength that they would perform usually involved some kind of isometric hold. The studies, by the way, support isometrics tremendously. Wow, five hundred dollars for that one. I know. I just, you could buy the old school one for whatever, or make it yourself yeah. without the whatever. Yeah, but it's not measuring it, right? Yeah. Which you would like I'll to see. I'll show you guys something cooler. Yeah, <laughs> but the, but the value the value of isometrics is incredible. It doesn't you know beat up the body. It's got a lot of carryover. Yeah. It's a fast way to get strong, a very fast way to get strong. Mm -hmm. um, you can feel it almost immediately when I, you do it. I also love it for form and technique. It's such a great way to teach someone how to be aware of their entire body and the way you're positioned while you're trying to contract a specific muscle. Uh, like, yeah. I mean, that's one of, that's, I mean, how, that's how my I favorite, use, yeah, it's my favorite use of it. That's too. how I use isometrics when training clients more than anything else is I would get them in a position, whether it be with a cable, a weight, put them in an isometric position, and then I would go move their body, yeah. their hips, and like, this is, I want you grounded like this. I want your shoulders back like this. I want your chin to, and then like, and then contract as hard as you can. You do that enough times, and then you hand them a, a weight that's obviously a lot easier oh, to move. You can build muscle. Like it, it's such a legit training method. It just doesn't have a good marketing. You know, it's like people, it's not sexy to see a video of somebody just kind of staying there and, and just flexing. Uh, like, yeah. you know, like see the struggle <laughs> in their face, yeah. you know, that's, that's what, it, but it's so effective if you apply it into your training and it complements basically everything. And also it's, it's safe. It's one of the safest training methods out there that you can just internally just back off on your effort. Yeah. You know, you know, um, like jujitsu guys, you see a lot of them start to incorporate isometrics because a lot of the positions and holds require a tremendous amount of isometric uh, stamina, strength, and endurance. So when you're in, some, in a position or here's a common thing when you're doing like a gi choke on someone, if you're, I mean, you have good technique and setup, but if you're, if your hands and forearms give out from the isometric holds, well, then it, then you lose or whatever. Mm. Uh, so it's very interesting. And it's something that I think, again, you don't see anybody doing it, which is, which is interesting to me because the studies on isometrics are, it's not like, oh, you have a little bit of value. It's incredible. Yeah. You just look them up for yourself. It's incredible the value that they can provide pretty much. And you can, and here's the thing with them. You can add them to any routine 
and you run very little risk of overtraining. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, when you're training, like, oh, I can't add that new thing because it'll push me over the edge. I have to take something away. With isometrics, usually you can add them and it won't take away from your body's ability to recover too much. 